MiniBridge is such a helpful feature in Photoshop that I don't know how I survived without it before it existed. If you look at the bottom of your screen, you'll see MiniBridge. If it's not there, you could bring it up yourself by going to the Window menu and choosing Extensions and MiniBridge. MiniBridge is automatically part of the Essentials workspace, so if you're on Essentials, you'll have it there at the bottom. Another note, if I hadn't launched Adobe Bridge, the standalone application through File, Browse in Bridge, it would show me a button saying you need to launch Bridge for Mini Bridge to work, and I'd hit the button to launch Bridge. But I already have. And you'll see that you can also choose Browse in Mini Bridge here from the File menu, and that would bring up the Mini Bridge panel as well. But let's dig in. So I'm in my user folder, Peach Pit in this case. I'm going to double click on Desktop, double click on Project Files, and double click on Photoshop Projects. And you'll see a whole bunch of images that you may have used already or will be using. But I want to go into the New Orleans folder. So if I double click to get inside, here you'll see all of my images. So it's a nice previewer, but it's far more than that. If I click once on the first image, not twice, a double click will open the file, and I don't want to open every one. It's okay if this is open, so don't worry if you did that. But I click once on the first file and slide with my scroll bar to the last image in the folder, hold down Shift and click again, I can choose several review modes or several ways to look at my images. Next to the tab for MiniBridge, you have Go Back to go back a level on the path I'm in on my hard drive, Forward, which I haven't gone any deeper, so I'm not going to go forward, Jump over to the Full Program Bridge, and then your View menu. And in your View menu, one click will show a few options. I love the Slideshow feature. In fact, I call over people that I might have been on the trip with to New Orleans, and I'll have them pick their favorite images so we can choose what to upload to Facebook. But when I choose Slideshow, there was a quick message that popped up at the top that said, we're running Slideshow. If you want to pause, hit your spacebar. So if I hit spacebar, it pauses, and it'll stay still on this image in case somebody walked out of the room or we want to discuss something in the photo. I'll hit spacebar again to play, and sometimes I'm impatient, so if it's playing too slowly, I can hit my right arrow key just on my keyboard where your up, down, left, and right arrows are to jump forward, and my left arrow key to go back if I want to take a closer look at something. If I click on a given area in the photo, it zooms in. So maybe I want to see this horse on the letters box a little bit better. Click and click. Same spot. One click will zoom in, click again, zooms back out. And then your right arrow key would keep going forward. If you decide you don't need to look at all the photos, you can just press Escape to exit, and it will leave you on the image you were last reviewing. There is a menu next to the View menu which has sorting options. Often before I batch rename in Adobe Bridge, if I launch it as its own application, I will sort by date created, because the shuffling order or the file name order may not always show newest to oldest. But I'm going to go back to the View menu. And in the View menu, I'm going to select the list again to show you Review Mode. So I'm going to scroll back to the very beginning, click once, Scroll to the right, to the very end, hold down Shift, and click once again. I'll go to View, and choose Review Mode. Now this is a much more dynamic and interesting way to review your images. Maybe I want to start at the end, since we've already seen many of the beginning images, and it does a carousel view of all the photos. I had just finished a beignet, and maybe I don't love this shot, so I can reject it or just not make it part of my carousel of images. It doesn't delete it or move it anywhere. It just gets it out of the queue of this view of images. So if I go to the next image back, 
I can keep reviewing and decide what images I might want to work on for a project and what images I don't want to review. As I move over to the bottom right corner, you have three other icons. I can view with a little loop tool. So I hit this little loop icon to bring up the loop tool, but I could have also just clicked on any spot. I love this door because you don't see many addresses that have half in the name. Or maybe I want to review this little peephole, very intricate peephole, to see if I could see something in the yard or just see the metal working. And I can get rid of it by hitting the X at the bottom, or you could bring it up or hide it just by hitting the loop tool icon in the lower right. I also have another icon, which I can save as a collection. A collection of images could be different ones that you've reviewed and want to keep. And maybe out of this New Orleans project, I'm going to be doing a pamphlet, a little app, and a website. And I might want to use different images for each so they don't look like they were all just repurposed. So each one looks a little bit more custom. I'm not going to save this collection, so I will hit cancel. And I will keep reviewing. And if there's an image I don't want to use, I hit the down arrow to get it out of my queue. So you're just loading fewer files to go back through. So you might queue up files, then call the client or your boss or your coworker in and ask them what they think of the images that you have loaded up. So now if I'm finished, I hit the X to exit and it leaves selected the ones that I was reviewing. I had rejected this hot chocolate and leftover beignet image, this building, the one with the flag, but everything else stayed selected and the bicycle. So now I might want to drag this somewhere else or I could right click and open in another application. The last really cool feature I want to show you in MiniBridge is full screen preview. And full screen preview is really just the same as slideshow. But the cool part about it is the space bar will get you in and out of there. So if I hit space, I'm back in full screen. I can use my arrow keys to navigate. If I hit space again, I'm back out of full screen. But that did deselect images. So I'm only left on one photo, whichever one was active when I left. Finally, you do have the ability to filter items. I didn't show giving ratings to items, but that's another very useful feature. Often when I call somebody over to review images, I'll ask them to hit the numbers one through five for how much they like it. And it gives me an electronic to-do list of what images I want to try first and what images they don't want to use at all because they didn't hit a number. The ones with four and five I'm more likely to use on a project, but the ones with three or below or no rating I'm unlikely to use. So let me show you that. If I select just a few images right here and I hit the quick key spacebar, I can hit five because I really love this shot. Hit my right arrow key to go to the next one. This is good, but it might need more detail. I might need to boost the color. So I'll hit the number four and it's attaching a rating to each image. I like this one a little bit better, so I'll hit five. And because this one is better, I may go back to the previous one and hit three and downgrade it. And there's my star rating. So if I hit escape to get out of full screen mode, here in the filter, I can choose show three or more stars. And I'm left with those three images. Show four or more stars. Or I could turn off the filter by clearing it. And I could search individual areas. And you do have a little panel menu that I rarely use to get MiniBridge out of your way. I'll just double click and I'll close this image and I don't need to save the changes. So that was a full tour of MiniBridge. I hope you love it as much as I do. I use it every day.